everyone. I pray everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Um, as we get prepared, I'm just getting some things ready here. Um, please put in your name and where you are viewing from. From Hill Vale, New Jersey. God bless you from Alabama. I'm going to turn this down now. All right. God bless you from Winco, PA. All right. So I'm using a new mic. So I hope, um, am I coming across clear? Can you guys just chat that for me if I'm coming across okay as far as my volume? I hope so. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So I am so excited. I love these. I love these. Thank you. Thank you. I love these sessions. I really, 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 really do. I love um, spending the time with you guys. And um, actually, you know, even though you guys can't, I can't see you. <laughs> I feel like we're kind of in the same room together. So, okay. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So, um, I have some some announcements to share with you guys. They are actually the same announcements from the prior weeks, 
but I wanted to at least put them in your hearing again. So as far as, um, and those of you that are coming in, I think everyone that is here so far um, has put in, you know, your, your name and um, where you are connecting with us from as well. Um, so, you know, as when you come in, um, then definitely do that. All right, so my first announcement, you know, on January 27th, those are you that are in um, the greater uh, Pennsylvania area, the tri-state area, or even further, um, if you can come. We are having our first event that we're doing together, a first event January the 27th, 2018, amen. That is our Let It Rain uh, intercessory dance and prayer event from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, we are looking for those that would like to minister in intercessory dance to um, connect and sign up. Um, there's more information on this particular page the, if you are watching from the GCF page. If not, um, then go on to uh, ChristCenterForDance.org. Click on the tab that says Gathering Connection Fellowship and you'll be able to register for the event there. You'll be able to choose a time slot that you would like to minister. The song is a song of your choice. The song is of your length as well. Whatever length it is, you know, that you, that, that you want. Um, there are no limits. Um, we just ask that you register so you can select your time and to upload your music so that we have it so that you know we can um, uh, run uh, everything everything smoothly but we are looking forward to agreeing with heaven um, we are believing that um, the rain from heaven will fall upon us um, that uh, we will receive strength and we will receive greater levels of you know of course the the manifested presence of the father but that um, we will be refu refueled um, if you will and ready um, as we go forward in 2018. So those of you that want to come out, um, please join us. If, you, if you're if you reluctant to minister in dance, please, by all means, come anyway. You can soak in the environment. You can, you know, individually pray. Uh, you can join with us. Um, there will be intercessors and a prayer leading, a prayer leader for each segment um, as far as dance ministers as well. So I pray that you are... Um, connecting with us. And I want to put this out there too. If you're if you're like, you know what, I really want to be a part of this, but I'm nowhere near PA, I'm nowhere near Philly, none of that. Then um, you can still sign up and select a time just, you know, in your, you know, in your home or in your church. Um, just join us as we intercede. So again, if you're if you can't physically come to the location, then by all means, still sign up so that you can be a part and you can select the time and um, and we'll get moving from there. My light just went out. It's been doing that. <laughs> it's been like on and off. So I do apologize that the light, the video just got darker. <laughs> But I'm working on some new things, guys. I'm working on some new things, guys. So I'm really, I really am enjoying these videos. All right. So that was my first announcement about um, the upcoming intercessory prayer and dance event on July 27th. Next announcement, if you are interested in being um, do, doing this, basically either a Facebook Live or, um, or leading one of the... Um, the uh, intercessory prayer, you know, conference call lines, because we're still going to do those next year. We may only do those once or twice a month. And then the other two weeks, um, the, the weeks that we're not on the conference call, we will be here um, using Facebook Live. But if you're interested in, in, in doing, you know, either being Facebook Live or um, the, the conference call line, then by all means, uh, email gcf.together at gmail.com. That's gcf.together at gmail.com. I know, so I'm reading your comments. I know I'm so excited about it too, about the, see, now it's back, back on. <laughs> I think it's some type of short. I'll fix, I'll get it fixed. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it, about it too. 
I'm also excited for next year. We have some new uh, GCF hosts and speakers that will be joining us throughout the year. So it just won't be my face, praise the Lord. It'll be some other people um, that will be sharing um, something that the Lord has placed on their heart to share as well. So again, if you're interested in doing it, gcf.together at gmail.com. Um, also, um, sorry, my news is itching, my face is itching, but um, um, I also wanted to to, to say this. Um, I want to say maybe about six months ago, we changed the format of the GCF Facebook page. So prior to about six months ago, you know, it was really open to anyone to post and, you know, put their events and um, things like that and announcements. Um, we actually, um, actually, I, I did receive direction from the father as far as this particular Facebook group. Um, it's just not about just promoting our individual, well, there's nothing wrong with that, but this particular Facebook page for this particular season is really about gathering and bringing us together and uh, sharing resources, um, not about events. So I know that there's a ton, there's so many other Facebook groups uh, for uh, worship artists, dancers as well that we can post our events. However, if there is something that you want shared, we can certainly do that. Just email gcf.together at gmail.com and we can actually share it during the Facebook Live event. So um, because oh, also, guys, share this video. If you haven't shared it yet, go ahead and share it um, just so we can we can, you know, uh, build our family. So back to the post. So if there is something that you want shared, by all means, uh, email it to us and we will probably we will announce it. Um, we're also probably going to have like a day that we're just going to open the page up so people can post whatever they want. So look forward to that, too. So if you and I wanted to to say that because we, we are family here and I don't want you to think that when you do a post and you don't see it, then there's something wrong. There's there's nothing wrong. <laughs> OK, so just hang tight, um, send it to GCF email and then eventually you guys will hear about um, like a day a week that anyone could just post stuff. And because we want to see what the what what others are doing so that we can pray and so that we can support each other. Amen. Amen. OK, so, sorry, I was reading. The post. <laughs> All right. So. This is my beautiful binder here. Those of you that are um, in the a dance ministry mentor group, we all have binders. <laughs> I mean, uh, we all have journals, and everyone's ever like all of our journals has like a scripture or some type of some type of something on it. So this is my, <laughs> this is my journal. If you are not a journal, start. I'm telling you, because as the Holy Ghost gives things to you, you want to begin to write them down and you want to begin to have them in a centralized place so that you don't forget them. When I first started, I was just jotting down stuff and then I forget where I put it. It was just crazy. So um, if you have not started journaling, start journaling. It'll be beneficial and helpful to you. All right, guys. So my reflection for this evening is tags along to what we have been talking about for the last couple of weeks about no excuses and about um, moving forward and uh, what 2018 will bring. Most of the posts that you guys have seen on the GCF Facebook page have been surrounding goals. I know Tanya just put a powerful post up, I think it was like a couple hours ago, about you know really taking an inventory or evaluation of, um, of this year so that you know you don't do resolutions or anything like that um you know in january you want to really begin to think about that stuff now okay and um so tonight i'm going to continue on that and i pray that it that what i'm sharing from my heart is a blessing to you because i'm telling you just thinking about it is blessing me um i want you guys to do an activity now this is something that i'm going to do too OK, so I'm not sharing something with you that I'm not going to going to do. I would encourage you to if you do journal <laughs> or on a notepad, write down um, the accomplishments of this year. Don't focus on what you did not do. Don't focus on what did not happen. Don't focus on anything negative, but only on what God has done and what 
you done through faith? What has happened this year? Write it down, especially if you're feeling because if you if you focus only on the negative and write that stuff down, it, you can't move forward like that. You're going to always then say, OK, next year I'll do it next year. I'll fix it next year, next year, next year. And then it becomes next year and the next year you do the same thing and it becomes the next year. Do you know what I mean? Focus on for right now what God has done, the things that you have achieved, your victories all of that and as you begin to write down you'll see that you are more far, you are further along that you actually than than you think and that's another thing too some people when they think about resolutions and um, recapping of the year that they're ending they only think about the negative you know what I mean? They don't think about the victories. They don't think about the things that they've overcome, the things that they have achieved, the things that they now can believe are possible, where in in times past they didn't. So begin to jot that down, begin to journal and write it down. And you're going to see something remarkable. And you're going to see that, again, you are further than you think and you are closer to your goals and to your dreams. Okay. So, what I wanted to share with you is a quote and then some other things but the first quote i want to share with you is by dorothea brandy and the quote is something that i've heard two years ago and ever actually yeah two and ever since i heard it it just stuck with me so the quote is act as if you cannot fail act as if you cannot fail what if Hypothetically speaking, you adopted, we adopted that mindset. Acting as if we cannot fail. I believe one of one of the top five or ten reasons why people don't achieve their vision, their dreams is because of the fear of failure. Now, there's many other reasons why people don't accomplish their goals, but I believe one of the top reasons is because they are afraid of failing. What if failure was not an option? What could you achieve if that was something that you did not deal with at all? You would probably run to your vision full speed ahead. Well, you already know the answer to that, right? By us yielding to fear of failure or any type of fear, what we're saying is that God is not capable of bringing us to our appointed end. We're literally telling him, you're not strong enough. And you're putting your fear above him. When in Corinthians, Second Corinthians encourages us and tells us, that will first reminds us the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, the pulling down of mindsets, the pulling down of a, a pattern of thoughts that have built up in our mind and now have become a stronghold or a fortress that we cannot penetrate. Right. Then it continues by saying that for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. That is so powerful. The knowledge of God, the, God, the, the knowledge of Christ. What is God said? What do we feel in our spirit? What do, believe, what do we believe that we're supposed to achieve? We are supposed to be taking those thoughts into captivity. We're supposed to be casting those thoughts down. We're supposed to be, you know, pushing against and, and utterly coming up against strongholds. I truly believe that a lot of times the battle is in the mind. And we all kind of know that, right? But what if, again, the mindset of failure, you didn't have to worry about? What if you really believed that all things are possible? What would happen to all of those thoughts and all of those seeds that the enemy has planted were not there? 
Or what if, as the Bible says, you begin to pull up all of those negative seeds aggressively, right? Casting down that scripture, it's, it's like casting, it's, 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 it, it is a violent act. It's not something to be played with, right? It's not something that you just kind of, oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> but you come against thoughts of you can't, you won't, you don't have. Because again, there are no excuses. There really are no excuses. You can achieve the vision for your life. You can achieve it. Um, one of the things that we also been talking about was embracing it, right? Embracing it and becoming unstoppable in it because there are no excuses, right? Embracing, embracing it, embracing what you're called to do, embracing who you're supposed to be, and then watching everything line up. Why does it line up? Because as you embrace it, you're agreeing with the Father. You're agreeing heaven and earth are coming into agreement, which means now your mindset is starting to change. And as your mind goes, so does your actions, right? The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So again, embracing God's word, embracing what he says about you, embracing the call, the ministry that's on your life, and then allowing that to begin to penetrate in your mind and then believing it, allowing it to take root, allowing it to take seed, you know, just being, uh, uh, allowing it to be planted, your actions will begin to follow. And then what happens after that? Because you are walking in the right path and your actions are beginning to align, perfectly align with God's will for your life, everything you need just comes. It comes because the word of God cannot return void. It cannot return empty. It will not return to him void. Right. So it's important for us as we all of us, as we um, cross the finish line of 2017 to really, again, think back on the victories and everything that you achieved this year and get ready for next year. Begin to write down what you want to see happen in 2018 and act as if it were impossible to fail because you can't fail like you get that right you really can't fail if you are the vision right if you are it you can't fail the what you're what what we see are temporary circumstances that change what we see are ways that we thought we would achieve something that's really not the way so it failed or maybe that the way of achieving it this season is done so now you achieve it another way there is another way because you can't fail. You cannot fail. Now, in closing, I'm going to I'm going to talk to good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Evangelist Suarez. I had to give her a shout out. I love her so much. <laughs> I love you all though. <laughs> I love you all. I love you all. Um but um I really want us to really get that because again, as we cross the finish line, we can have a powerful year. It's really up to us. The father is just standing and waiting on us to move. He's waiting for us to agree. He's waiting for us to believe that he is a person, a man of his word. He is not like a man though, that he lies to us. He's not a liar. What he said, he's gonna do. We have to agree with it. And again, align our thoughts. And then our actions will follow, and then we will we, we will begin to move forward. We will begin to move forward. We will begin again because failure is not an option. And what I was saying in closing, um, I wanted to relate it now, in particularly to worship artists, and then I want to relate it to dancers. So worship artists, and that's anyone in the visual creative worship arts right when god shows you something either you know you're going to have this ministry and i'm not talking about um, i'm going to talk about depth of ministry not uh, now for some it can be a depth of ministry meaning that um, you see yourself flowing in a particular anointing or it could be um, the magnitude of your gift because you know just like the bible says 
there's a particular grace on us all. Some people, and that's something, and that's another thing, but that's something that you have to embrace as well, right? And it's easy to embrace it when you just embrace who you are. Meaning there's some people that are called to their local church. There's some people that are called to their state. Um, there's some people that are called to the nations or the U United States. There's some people that are called to the nations. You have to embrace that, whatever that is. It's not a level, right? It's not that the person that's called to the local church and the person that's called to, to the nations, that that it's like a hierarchy there. There really isn't. Because if the person that's called to the nations doesn't move and the person that's called to their church is active and moving, who's who's more successful and who's in obedience which is the most accurate, more accurately, who is moving in obedience, right? So again, no hierarchy there. But you, 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 you agree with the vision. You start to move in it. Now, what does that look like and what does that mean? Does that mean that the person that's called to the nations will immediately start getting invitations to other countries? Possibly. I don't know. Does that mean that that person actually connects with different nationalities in the city that they're actually in? Again, call to the nations. You got to get clarity on that. You got to get clarity, but you have to embrace that. Whether you're called to your local church, you have to embrace what you are feeling and sensing in your spirit, what God is saying. You can't wait for the action, then say, I'm called to this. Right. That should that should only be a confirmation. That's fruit. But if you never plant the seed in your heart, if you don't agree with that seed, then you'll be just like the people in the parable where Jesus talked about, you know, the different hearers of the word. They didn't hear correctly. They didn't agree. So it didn't take root. So, again, when God shows you your vision, whatever that is, you have to agree with it. Let it take root. Protect it nourish it, right? Put some scriptures on top of that. Meditate on it. Nourish it. Become it. It will grow. It That will begin to grow in you and you will begin to align your life accordingly to what seed is planted in you. You will and you'll begin to walk it out. And then the confirmations come. But it's not until we agree with it. We have to just agree with heaven. Now, for the dancers, again, if you're called to minister in dance to a particular, you have to, you have to, you have to be intentional and begin to ask the Father, Lord, who am I called to? What is the purpose of my ministry? What is my ministry statement? Right? You can't just arbitrarily just do that. Season is past. We have to be more intentional. Worship artists, dancers, dance ministers. We have to be intentional. Where is my place, Father? You know what I mean? Because some gifts will operate will operate in different places. And that's when sometimes we get hung up on, well, they didn't receive me here, or this didn't work here. That means I'm not called to. No, no, no. It is. It is. But maybe it's the wrong place. There's so much. All of that comes with clarity. All that comes with just spending time with the Father and embracing who he has called you to be. I'm telling you, everything will begin to align and you will become unstoppable. Because if you agree with heaven, there's absolutely nothing that our defeated foe can possibly do because there's agreement on heaven and earth, right? He can't, he can't stop it. He'll put, he, he, he may try to put smoke screens in your, the Lord may allow that because the Lord's like, it doesn't matter. They're unstoppable. So what this failed? They're unstoppable. So what this door closed? They're unstoppable. So what they're, they're, they were not received here. They were talked about. They were lied on. Something happened. It doesn't matter. Because when you embrace the vision and you agree with it, you're going to do it because your mindset, again, your mindset, your mindset's changed. And then your actions begin to follow. 
That's why I believe we should only focus on places that we have seen fruit. Places that we've seen fruit, right? And I'll leave you with this. Similar, It's similar to um, Jesus' parable of the talents, right? The people that produced more was given. The, pe- the person that did not produce, it was taken away and given to the producers, to the people that actually moved and did something with their gift, did something with their call, tried to make something work. I feel led to say this too, um, because sometimes I know that I've experienced this um, in dance ministry in particular. I'm going to speak to to dancers or actually anybody, actually worship artists, just because doors are not opening. And I believe I said this, but I'm I'm going to say it again. Just because doors that you think should open are are not opening right? Just because doors that you think should open aren't, doesn't mean that you're not called to that area. And it does not mean that you can't move in your vision, right? Again, the the activities, all of that, that's the fruit that comes from the seeds that are planted. It could be that this is your season to plant seeds in yourself. This could be your season to get that foundational agreement with heaven and earth fortified in you first. That's still moving forward in your vision. Again, all because you don't see the activity, the manifestations of it, doesn't mean it's not happening. It only takes God a moment, but oftentimes he waits for us to mature, to align ourselves correctly, there could be a physical a physical component as well because dance we can't deny dance is a physical act <laughs> so there could be a physicality component um that that we have to bring ourselves in agreement with right it could be anything there's so much but that does not mean you cannot move forward on the contrary it's actually the opposite right because there's so much you could be doing right? You could be getting your vision statement together. Once you have that, then what's next? Then you could be getting your garments that align with that vision, right? Because not everybody can wear everything. I'm not talking about stuff that doesn't fit. I'm talking about if you have a particular ministry and your body moves a certain way, that there's certain things that will complement, certain attire that will complement your movement style that won't get in your way either. I mean, there's, there's a lot, right? You could be getting your arsenal of um, songs together. You could be choreographing. Like, you, there's there's no reason to just sit still. I'm just going to wait till somebody calls. It's too late at that point. It's too late. Any type of worship artist you are, if you really believe you're called to the nations, you should be getting your stuff together. If you believe that you're called to your city or your state, you should be getting your stuff in order. Because, again... When it's time for you to go forward and you're not ready, right? So this, if you're in a season of preparation, it doesn't mean that you just sit still and be like, nobody is calling me to do nothing. So I'm just going to like, wait, (laughs) I'm just going to sit, I'm just... That means it's not happening. It must not be happening then because no one's asking me to do anything. This is your season of preparation. Because once that season, I'm an example of it. I've had seasons where I didn't do anything. I, it hasn't been like this last season, the, the pregnancy, but I still was moving. But I've had seasons in my early years where I got called upon. It was it was uh, it was dance ministry. Got called upon to dance, and then six months later, another, and then a year later, another. Like, but in that time, every time I would dance, I would get a greater revelation. Greater outpourings would actually manifest, and why? Because I spent that time with the Father. I spent that time Him healing me. I spent that time with Him. Him, you know ripping out stuff like not 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 to say that the i mean he's not he's so gentle but aggressively 
getting out those negative thoughts, those low self esteem, those all that negativity, just getting that stuff out of me so that new wine could be put in because you can't put new wine, new anointing, new revelation. If you're still, if you still have something old, it's not going to mix. It's not going to mix. Next year is going to be a powerful, powerful year. Now, in your individual churches, I'm sure that your pastors or your, you know, whoever you um, submit to will probably, you know, reveal something that they have shared regarding 2018 in particular, you know, really focused and directed for your life or, or for your church, um, for your region or area. I'm sorry. I just hit the table. I can only say that I know for the worship artists, it's going to be a great year because not because of anything that's, but because we're different, right? Your approach into next year is different. Your mindset is different, which means it's going to be different next year. You're going to experience a greater level of everything because you're focused. You're embracing the vision. You are embracing who God has called you to be. And I'm telling you, everything will begin to line up. Everything, everything, everything will begin to line up. Amen. Amen. Bless God. I'm looking at your at your um, posts here. Praise God. Praise God. All right, guys. So I just wanted to 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 share that because, again, a lot of times it's nothing. It's really just a, it's 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 really just. A fear of failure or we're not sure what season we're in we don't see the doors opening up before I start and I'll just say this for people that are you know business owners some people may argue the fact that well I can't move forward in my vision because I don't have a place to actually you know do my business again I beg a differ because though you may not have a location you can still operate in your vision by becoming that becoming it right embracing it and then doing the things necessary to achieve it it could be something simple as taking a seminar reading a book being around people that are doing the same thing i i, I am a i am a researcher i i don't like to stay still meaning that even if i'm not you know dancing or ministering or doing something i'm reading I'm taking a course. I'm doing something. I'm moving forward in my vision. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm moving, I'm always moving forward. And I'll leave you with this. And I said, I know I said it like four times. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, before I even had a Christ Center, I was teaching in my bedroom because it was in me. I was teaching in my bedroom with the mirror like my <laughs> dresser mirror that was my studio mirror i taught my little cousins it's because i again you can still I'm t you can still do the vision don't stay still don't stay stagnant you can't afford to there are people waiting for you to arrive there are people waiting for your business they're waiting for your ministry because when God calls you to do something, it's to answer a need. You are the answer. What you're called to do is going to answer people's problems, whatever that is. It is to provide an answer. So you cannot stay still, nor can you believe that your vision is unachievable. Just get that mindset out. And I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. I don't care how much money you have. It doesn't matter. There's no excuses. No excuses. So write down, write it down, guys. Write down the things that have happened this year. It's going to build your faith. Because by this time next year, <laughs> we're all going to be in different places. Financially, spiritually, like emotionally, everything. Everything can change because you change, because we've changed, you change, I've changed, we've all changed. We're changing now. <laughs> I'm so 
so excited. I'm so excited because it doesn't take the father long. I'm telling you, it doesn't take him long. But we know that. All right, guys. So, okay, that's it. <laughs> I promise. That's it. Okay, so now, um, now, amen. I believe. I believe, too. I believe, too. I believe, too. All right. So at this time, we're going to move into prayer. Um, if you guys have any prayer requests, and I, I know last last week we were, I did the same thing. <laughs> there were prayer requests on here. I'm so sorry. All right, so I have it in front of me now. I'm scrolling so that I can see if anyone's going to post something. So I do apologize. Those of you that did post stuff, and it's like she told me to write it, and I I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, so we're going to move into prayer now. If you have any prayer requests, jot them down. Um, we are going to pray into um, the the reflection about moving forward. Um, we won't see each other, so um, happy new year! I won't see you guys until we come back um, from the new year, and it will, we'll we'll probably be together the first week or do a Facebook live. Um, during that during next week, um, it may be Thursday again. We'll see. But um, post your prayer requests um, as we conclude. Also, just to recap the announcements, um, if you have any prayer requests and you don't want to post them, email gcf.together at gmail.com um, prior to uh, you know when we when we're um, when we're together on Facebook. Um, if you would like to be a part of GCF actually in any way, um, then email us as well. If you wanted to be a prayer host or a lead, again, we um, next year we're going to be doing a combination of Facebook Live and conference calls. Um, so if you're wanting to be a part of that, email us as well at gcf.together at gmail. Um, if there's anything that you want posted on the GCF page, stay tuned for more information on that. Um, in the coming weeks, we're going to probably have a day or something like that or a week or something where we'll just, you know, just put the page, we'll just use, open the page up and anyone can put whatever they want on the on the page. Um, looking, I don't see any prayer requests. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pray. Um, I have my Bible here. This thing is heavy. <laughs> I have so many. This is the NIV. And then I have the smaller one. <laughs> Look at the sizes. Ow. It's heavy. Size difference. Then I have another one. I like the, I, I prefer the Amplified better. I'm sure that you, you, you guys probably have 50 million Bibles. <laughs> All right. This is small. Okay. Pray for strength. Got it. Got it. All right. Our sister, Deneen, we're going to be praying for strength. Amen. Any other prayer requests before we hop in here and get started? Okay. Amen. I see that to thoroughly recognize the power of God. Ooh. We'll pray for that, but you may have an encounter tonight. <laughs> I'm going to like that. Because, uh, yeah. Because that's. That's a beautiful, beautiful request. Um, before I see that, that is a beautiful request. And we're gonna we're gonna pray in into that. But Tony, don't be surprised for you to have an encounter where the Father lovingly, you know, just starts to show you um, His power, and He may just allow Rama, you know, script the as you're reading to jump right off the page. But don't be surprised. Okay. Amen. Amen. Minister Godfrey, gotcha. Amen. Amen. Rightful place. I know. I know in my heart and first priority. Yeah. I agree. You can add, I can add that to mine too. <laughs> yes, because we have to be focused. And uh, Teresa, amen. Confidence. Yeah. Confidence to flow. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And bold confidence and boldness. Yeah. I agree with that as well. I agree with that. Amen. All right. So I have them up here. Um, 
Tanya said, did you guys see her post? She said she's ready. I remember, and I'll, I'll share this with you guys. Um, and I know that, you know, I'm trying to be sensitive because um, we're all, and that's, before I say that, the beauty about GCF is we're all from different backgrounds. We're all different ages. We're all from different denominations. But there's things that we can all share. Um, experiences that we can all share, um, even, you know, just, you know, things and things are our life or um, things that the Lord has taught us, we can, we can share. Um, and typically when that happens, and I'll, I'll just say this, um, just, just shortly, you can, you can actually bring someone into the encounter that you had just by, um, sharing it with them. An example of that would be music. And um, it's one of the new courses that's in, and I, I definitely, I, I normally don't give anything that I'm doing outside of GCF, but one of the um, new courses that's in one of the programs taught at CCD is on music. And it talks about, and it's um, prophetic music and how that can impact the atmosphere and how we as worship artists need to not only choose the right song, but when we're listening to it and the, the, the person that's singing it, we can tell that they've had an encounter because that encounter begins to manifest, which means when we minister that song, we step into their encounter, amen? So that's why choosing, you know, I've lately for the past maybe year and a half, I've been choosing a lot of prophetic songs, songs that were birthed spontaneously because, um, but that's, you know, I'm a prophetic artist. But when I step into that encounter, I'm stepping into that manifested presence so that when I minister that, I can open that encounter up to the audience as well. Okay. So that's why it's great for us to, to share about our encounters. But I want to say this <laughs> before we pray, um, especially for that, for this encounter. Uh, been going through all week. Amen. Okay. Okay. We'll probably see. We got you. We got you. Um, I, I, the first time that I know I stepped into, to an, an encounter. Now, of course we, we can have our, our, our own encounter. I mean, I'm sure we've all had plenty of that. I've had angels manifest, you know, wherever, but anyway, this one time, um, the church I was at and the, the person was an apostle. He had an apostolic anointing, true apostle. And he was giving a prophetic word. He was activating a prophet the whole room just kind of like shifted and I felt like, like my spirit quickened. And this was about six years ago, six or seven years ago, quickened. And I, I, I couldn't explain it. And I was like, Lord, what was that? But you know, <laughs> went home and I was only driving home, just was caught up in worship. And that's normally me. I'm in the car singing. And all of a sudden, the same encounter just erupts in my car and I see an angel in the sky and I start screaming. <laughs> I'm like, ah! So, and then I can't get out my car and I'm home now. So I have to keep driving for another hour because I can't get out the car. I'm too like, I'm too worship. I'm crying. I'm, I'm now I begin to prophesy and now I'm saying stuff and I'm just, ah. and then I get home. And I fall out and it's just because, again, that encounter was opened to me. So that's another encouragement for those of you that want to share on the GCF. Line. You know, you don't have to come on and teach. You can share something that's changed your life because it will bless us. So I pray that that blessed somebody. Um, because the Lord can give you don't have to be in a particular place to meet God. You don't have to be. You have to be ready. You can have an encounter. I mean, I've had encounters where I cried at Jesus' feet. Now, I didn't see it with these eyes, but here I saw him, and I just fell at his feet and cried. Um, I've had encounters, like I said, where, you know, I can, ministering spirits, angels have just showed up in my living room. 
you know, if you're if you're if you're open to that and that that's a realm that some people open themselves to and some people don't, you know, you it you, you're going to get into heaven, whether you just have to be, you know, we all we all knew that. And there's no hierarchy in that either. But um, I'm sharing that because I believe Pharisees will have an encounter. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. So amen. And Tanya, she said, I'm ready. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And there's some beautiful encounters. My, you know, I like to just sit still and maybe sometimes put on some worship music, um, instrumental or worship and just meditate on the father. And I just, you know, you begin to his, his, he begins like his presence begins to manifest and then you begin to hear his voice and then just, it's just, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful in your devotion time and in your quiet time with the Father. I mean, that's just, I mean, it's just like the Bible says, you know, sometimes the Father is not in the wind. He's not in the fire. He's not in the explosion. Sometimes it's the stillness. It's the still small voice that he gives you an encounter with him. So, amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? I'm telling you, this is the, this is, I, I can't imagine my life without him. I can't. I, I just can't imagine my life. Can't. <laughs> so I encourage you, you know, just, you know, because he wants to meet with you. And maybe this is our prayer. I don't know. He wants to meet with you. Our father is a father of, he's a father. He's a father. He's a nurturer. He, you know, he loves us dearly and sees us in a way that we could never, we can't even fathom. We can't even get, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he wants to reveal himself to us. And when I first started to have encounters, it was reading. Reading this word would jump off. The, and I know people say it jumps off the pages. And I'm sure we've all had encounters like that where we read the word and he just, the Lord just reveals himself through his word because he is the word. Jesus is the word made flesh. So if we want to see Jesus, there's, there's supernatural power when we read this word, when we read it, there is a spirit in it. Again, it's Jesus begins to manifest in our spirits, in our hearts. He begins to talk to us. He begins to reveal things to us. The Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth, our helper is right there with us. Oh, amen. I know, right? It's just, he's just so good like that. <laughs> he's so good like that. All right, so I know I'm stirred up in my spirit too, guys. I'm stirred up. I can I can feel his presence, and it's uh, and you know what's a shame? It's a shame that sometimes we don't minister in this place. Sometimes we're not in this place when it's time to go before his people, and we do ourselves and the people such an injustice we have to get more familiar with this place and i'm telling i mean his presence is manifesting where we're at now because we're together because we're all together amen so okay we're gonna pray and i'm gonna scroll up so i can see the prayer requests i'm gonna pray that we all have an encounter with the father as well a deeper that he reveals another facet of himself oh, sorry <laughs> because in the last couple of oh mm, 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 he is just the thing is he's blowing my mind lately and i can't, and i can't say that you know my life has changed or things have happened but he's blowing my mind. He's blowing my mind lately. 
and it's just absolutely beautiful and again like i i can like, nothing has changed like the like nothing has changed let's pray <laughs> i have your i have the prayer request so we're just going to agree and please you know pray with me father we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you we come before you with thanksgiving lord thanking you for everything you have done for us in our lifetime in this year everything you've done for our family god just everything god we thank you for revealing yourself to us god for showing us your love for us showing us your mercies showing us your tenderness glory to god showing us your grace showing us your peace that passes all understanding showing us your provision, God, how you have provided for us, God, before the foundation of the world, God, how you have provided um, answers to our need, to our ailment, God, how you provided healing, hallelujah, how you have provided deliverance and salvation, God, how you have provided encouragement, God, how you have just provided all that we need, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are so mindful of us, God. As David said, what is man that thou art mindful of us? <laughs> Thank you for being mindful of us as individuals, God. How you know everything that we need, God. Everything that, that, that we believe we lack, God. How you have already supplied all of that, God. Glory to God. Father, we thank you so very much, God, for revealing your heart to us, Lord. We thank you, God, that before the year is out, this calendar year, God, you will give all of us a beautiful encounter with you, God. A beautiful encounter, God how you will reveal yourself to us, Father God, in a way that we need it because we know you desire to be close to us, God. So we just say yes. We open our hearts up. We open ourselves up to you, God. We say yes, yes, yes. We thank you for the beautiful encounter that we will have, God. We thank you that we know that every time we encounter you, we are never the same. We are changed from glory to glory to glory, glory to God. We thank you for that life-changing encounter, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, and in that encounter, we all agree and pray, God, that you will cleanse us, God. Hallelujah. That you will begin to purge out, God, just old mindsets, ways and thought patterns that should not be there, God. Purge us, God. Purge us from unclean thoughts, God. Not perversion, or perversion if needed, God, but just thoughts that don't align with your word, thoughts of low self-esteem, thoughts of failure, thoughts of rejection, thoughts of being unloved, unappreciated, unneeded, unwanted. In the name of Jesus, purge all of that, God, hallelujah, out of us in the name of Jesus. Purge out, God, the things that have held us for years. Hallelujah. Because we are all walking into a new dimension. We are walking into a new season. Glory to God. The old is passing away. And you are declaring, hallelujah, that all things are becoming new right before our very eyes. Glory to God. I thank you for the revival that's happening within all of us in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the restoration and the, for, for the redeeming of dead dreams, dead businesses, dead ministries in the name of Jesus. Things that we've given up on, even people that we have given up on. I thank you, Father God, for bringing those things in our remembrance and telling us that you have not forgotten. Glory to God. You have not forgotten. You have not forgotten. Hallelujah. 
you have not forgotten. Even things that this year we have kind of, you have not forgotten. Glory to God. Give us greater levels of strength, Father God. And we yield ourselves to receive it as your word says. When we are weak, we are made strong. We thank you for our sister, Father God, Lafaristine. We thank you for her, Father, as she was going to have a beautiful encounter with you, that you're going to meet her right where she's at. For you love her so, so much, and you are mindful of her, and you want to hold her hand through what she's going through and letting her know that she can lean on you for your burden is easy and your yoke is light hallelujah and she will get a greater revelation of who you are as you walk her through what she's going through god we thank you god that she's gonna just come and she is just evolving into this beautiful diamond right before our very eyes, God. We thank you, Father, for our sister, Denise, God. We thank you, God, that she just wants to position herself to keep you first in the name of Jesus. So we just, or for her, God, we come in alignment with her, God. We come in agreement in the name of Jesus. And we just speak that no distraction will um, prevent her from putting you first. God, we just declare that. We speak a hedge around her in the name of Jesus from anything that tries to disalign her life or anything that tries to distract in the name of Jesus. We just dis dismantle it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we lift up our sister, Teresa, God. We thank you, God, for giving her strength, for giving her boldness, for giving her confidence in the name of Jesus for assuring and confirming what you're showing her, God, so that she can walk in it with boldness, God, in the name of Jesus. And knowing God that we, knowing God that um, sometimes, Lord, and we just, we just cover her, God, so that if the enemy, the defeated foe tries to block her in any way or tries to put discouragement in her way, we just dismantle it in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for a release of strength so that she can endure in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for that confidence in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I feel that um, release for Teresa. I feel it for everybody, but I really feel, I feel that in my, in, I feel that. Amen. Amen. And Father, we lift up um, our sister, Tanya, God, we thank you that she's ready for her encounter, God. And we know that by the end of this year, she's going to receive it, God, and it's going to change her life forever. And lastly, Father God, we lift up our sister, Deneen. We thank you for an increase of strength to flow to her even now, though she's not with us, even now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for overcoming strength. Sorry. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you for what you're going to do. And we're so excited. We're so excited, God. We thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Woo, that was wonderful. That was wonderful. And it was wonderful because you guys were here. Amen. Amen. So um, happy new year to everyone. Um, if you need us to continue to pray, please email gcf.together at gmail.com and we will certainly do that for we are a family here. And, um, you know, we just want to be a family, basically. We want to have each other's back. <laughs> All right, guys. So I love you and I'll see you guys next week. God bless. Bye-bye.